We'll start with you, Naomi. I mean, loads of people, such younger people, know you from Aladdin. Aladdin 2 is coming. But this character, it's a different ballpark, isn't it? Like, this is a different thing altogether. Was it the fact that it's yeah. so different, so complex? Did that, did that attract you to, to the role? Absolutely, yes. Um, full stop. No, I'm joking. Um, yeah, I binge read the scripts and um, I thought the character was so interesting and complex and and i found that that line um treading that line of of going through everything that she's going through and still being in love with someone who's caused her so much pain and um having to really kind of uh reckon with that i i thought was so so interesting and um yeah and a, and a new challenge and a new challenge for me and quite honestly it was just everyone involved and sj um who i i actually really felt like I felt like the character of Olivia was really safe in her hands. Yeah. Um, and I felt like I really believed in her vision and how she wanted to tell this story. And um, and everyone, of course, you know, Melissa James Gibson and David E. Kelly and all the producers and the incredible cast. I was just like, this is something I absolutely have to have to be <laughs> yeah. and I mean your character uh, Michelle it's just as complicated if not more so I mean you think at the very start it's not a spoiler you're like you're kind of going oh she's obviously like a book she's a lawyer she's really like above board and then you're kind of saying oh is there an affair going on there what's going on? so it's constantly questioning everything and for you then was it was it nice to have this role that's just so meaty that keeps evolving keeps changing absolutely absolutely I loved her from the start from the first read and and that she's she's such a she's such a complex character there's so much going on underneath and that begins to unravel as the series goes on um and also i was just really down for playing a barrister i was you know it's something that i kind of didn't imagine in my career but then when it yeah. came along i thought oh that's a challenge and and it really was i mean it, i've never had to work harder actually just those courtroom scenes were yeah. huge and 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 it was really important to me that that it was as authentic as it could possibly be in those courtroom scenes. So I worked really closely with a top barrister who was like my coach, mm. um, and 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 also the element of performance within mm. that courtroom yeah. was really interesting. It's like the costume on the costume is the robes and the and the wig. So it's like she, there's a lot of layers to Kate. Mm. You know, she's not who she who you think she is. Yes. Um, and it's all part of, of creating boundaries for her, you know, and as you see, as the series goes on, it, it's, it's, she needs those, she needs the masks in order to survive. It's sort of mm. a way of detaching herself. Totally. And, and, and you're watching this and you're watching uh, your character, Naomi, in the stands. I mean, it's, it's terrifying even to watch from home. You're kind of like, was it terrifying mm. playing that role? Or are you, are you an yeah. actor? So you're going, it's make believe. I don't, I'm not actually. No, talking. no, actually you're right. It was, it was really nerve wracking. There's something about being put in that environment, albeit a, a fake version, a very, uh, the sets were, the set was incredible. And actually, as I said, being in that environment, being in, in that courtroom, it really does, um, yeah, it, it it makes it feel as as real from an environment an environment point of view as it can mm. can. Yeah. Um, I think also really kind of opened my eyes to okay, if me as an actor, if I'm if I'm feeling um if I'm feeling this nervous and and this is me as an actor and it's not real, I can't imagine how someone must feel when they have to actually relive their trauma in in front of people who aren't supportive mm -hmm. but they're actually judging whether they're telling the truth or not yeah i think that's um something I, I can't imagine what that that feels like and we spoke a lot about also her trajectory in terms of of emotionally and how it you know she i think she she really wants to um uh she kind of knows what is in her head. She's trying to block out the emotional part because I think she understands that she needs to be a really good witness. And so she's almost treating it like a, like a work assignment of like, okay, I need to go out here. I need to, you know, answer the questions that, they, that, that, that her and Kate have uh, rehearsed together. Um, I don't think she wants um, uh, James to see her, her emotion. And I don't think she she wants I don't think she wants him to see her her weakness. Mm -hmm. And but then there comes a point. The reality is there comes a point where her body 
you know, having to retell this trauma, her body takes over. And we spoke a lot about when we felt like that was appropriate to happen. And, um, Mm -hmm. and, and I think it also helped the fact that they were, uh, the scenes we were played out almost, it was like a play. There were 15 minute long scenes, you know? Okay. Um, Mm -hmm. so I think that helped with the kind of natural progression of, of where she was emotionally in the scene. This is sure to get lots of nominations come award season. It's just so capped as I say, I, I had to binge the whole thing. So, and you're of course no stranger to award season, Michelle. I mean, you've got four Emmy nominations, a Golden Globe nomination, do you know what I mean? What does awards like that and recognition like that mean to an actor like yourself? Oh, it means a lot, you know, to be part of a show that is recognized like that um, is great. You know, it's in, and it's a, it's an opportunity to celebrate the show as well. Like yeah. you know, so often we we do these jobs and we have this brilliant experience together, then we promote it like we're doing now, and then everybody yeah. disappears again. So an excuse to sort of come back together and all be yeah. together and celebrate, you know. And it's still the test of time. Like, why do you think it keep people just can't get enough of that show? It's a bit like Anatomy of a Scandal in a way. <laughs> I can't get enough of this, but you know, it just keeps coming back, and there are movie versions and everything. Yeah. Yeah, I think it, it it's so long as the audience still have an appetite for it, you know, we're, we'll, that's why we did the film, you know, at the end of the series, we just weren't, you know, we, we you can never sort of tell how it's going to go. Mm. And there was this idea for a film and, you know, that doesn't always work um, going from the small screen to the big screen yeah. and it did work. And so people, there was an appetite for another one. So we did another one. Yeah. And going back to this show, I mean, for you, Naomi, Rupert Friend, obviously an amazing actor, but a kind of despicable character that he's playing, who obviously is closely tied to you. So you have a lot of scenes um, with him, but you're also, you're kind of somebody who's, you've scenes where you're having an affair with him and you're in love with him. And then you've scenes where you're in court. So is playing that in totally different frames of mind, was that difficult to switch all the time into, because it's an evolving character, I suppose, in stories? Um, Not so much because in the court room, it was the, it was it was so tense in there and and we're we're very we're very separated like he's you know far away over there michelle's over there you know sienna's up in the in the stores in the the, yeah with the, in the, gods, yeah. the gallery uh, the gallery <laughs> thank you the gallery the stores i was like what do you call it um so that was actually and, and i think i was so nervous about the scene itself i wasn't really thinking too much a, a, about that and also okay. i think actually Olivia is trying to block him out in a way. Um, I don't think she wants to kind of engage with him, especially with in the court case, because she's thinking about the job at hand and being like a, a perfect witness. Um, but no, in terms of you know the other scenes, uh, as I as I said, like it's really important to have levity in and amongst those more intense scenes. And he was such an incredible scene partner. I couldn't. Of asked for a better a scene partner in Rupert. So, okay. um, and yeah, he's 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 the best. We we have a laugh. I love it. Um, so Michelle, do you do anything to get into the headspace? I was wondering of your character. Do you know what I mean? Because as I say, they're all complex, but yours is a particularly complex. I think. Uh, do, did you do anything before they say go? Do you do you have any routines or like? Okay, um, I just need time with my own guys for ten minutes. Or do you know? I find music really useful. Like if I have to sort of get into the mm-hmm. zone particularly for those courtroom scenes and some of those like emotionally intense scenes with Kate. Um, mm. There's certain music that I listen to when I'm playing a role. So, you know, I'll just put my airport. What do you listen to? In it. Um, it's her personal thing. It's a very personal <laughs> It is actually. <laughs> do you know is what? I, I was, it's as true, soon as you quite... asked that, I was like, oh yeah, it's funny. Yeah, it, it is, is, it is quite yeah. personal. And each okay. job I, think I have like a playlist, but, um, but, but for, this, for this role particularly, I had to really reserve my energy um because it, it required so much concentration in those co- courtroom scenes that if i if my mind wandered ever so slightly in those scenes i could i could okay. lose my next train of thought okay um wow. which i think is you know it gave me a real insight into what that must be like as a barrister because they do learn you know you're learning your process the questions and how it how the witness then reacts and you know particularly with your client there is an almost rehearsed uh, version of what you hope will come across. Yeah. And so that if, mm. if you slightly go off in a tangent or you you encourage your client accidentally perhaps to say something mm. that isn't helpful, 
Mm. You then have to go back to the beginning, you know, that you yeah. then have to readdress what you're saying and bring them back. And, you know, it's, and each one is different. The cross examination is different because with James, it was like, it's tactics. It's all about kind of knocking him off his feet. Yes. Um, yeah. it's, whereas it's, with, with her, with Naomi, it was with Olivia. It, it, it's a different, it's a sort of different tactic. Mm. They're different tactics. I mean, yeah. it's I've so much respect for barristers. I mean, all right, bit, guys, it, it, it was juicy by Doja Cat that she was listening to. That's, that's <laughs> there you go. It's, it's out now. Yeah, it's, yeah, out. It it's out. 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 It